Hi everyone, it's Ia and for today's video, as you can see, I am wearing my toga right now. Congratulations to all of us who are graduating this year, but without further ado, let's hop on to the graduation makeup tutorial. First step is of course skincare. We want our skin to be prepped and ready for makeup. It's very important, so I'm using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost. This really helps to moisturize and hydrate my dry skin. Skin. so it really depends on your skin type on what type of skincare you're gonna use but for me since I have a dry skin I want everything hydrating moisturizing do you see that instant glow just with a moisturizer? Next step is sunscreen and I've been using this Anessa sunscreen. This is their perfect UV sunscreen skincare mill. It has SPF 50+, plus, PA++++. Plus, 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 plus. It was actually my first time using this on my graduation day and I loved it because it already acted as my primer. So of course, the two finger rule, but I just put it directly on my face. Also, this doesn't have any white cast and blends so fast. Don't forget your sunscreen because it's going to be very hot on graduation day. So I actually graduated last June 3 at PICC and I had my recognition rights last May 31. So we had double kind of celebration and your girl graduated magna cum laude. I'm very, very happy. Like I literally worked so hard for that. It has always been my dream to bag Latin honors and uh, yeah, we finally achieved it. And now now, of course, foundation, which is very, very important for your special day. So I'll be using the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. You should be using your most trusted foundation, and this is mine. So I'm in the shade Barcelona or Medium 4. This is actually a full coverage foundation, which I need, and it really lasts long based on my previous experiences. So of course, I'll be using it today. Also, you don't want to use a lot of foundation which will make your face cakey towards the end of the day you want just like a full coverage so that you will use only a tiny amount of product you don't have to use a lot because that's the reason why things get cakey if you use a lot of foundation concealer or even powder highly recommend this nars sheer glow foundation it works on all skin types if you have oily skin i just suggest that you use a primer beforehand any mattifying primer but i've heard some people who are acne prone and oily it still works for them and then i'm gonna blend with with a damp beauty sponge so that it gives like a glow effect which i'm always going after i want everything to be natural radiant so if you're new here on my channel welcome but if you are an og you know i studied oh my god past tense i studied at the lsu i actually made a lot of vlogs before like back in the day 2018 that's also the year when i started creating youtube videos so finally i'm already out of college yeah, it's been a long journey and I'm just so happy that I'm still here, that I'm still in YouTube doing my thing even after all those years, even after like a hectic schedule at college, internships, and I'm so happy that you're still here. Or if you're new here, welcome because we're on to a new journey. Let us see what will happen in my life after college. Next, I'll be moving on with the brows and I really love this Tavian Brow Mate. This is in the shade Neutral Brown. So it's actually a thin eyebrow pencil so that it's easier to mimic your brow hair. So I'll just be following the natural shape of my brows. As usual, I don't like to overdo it. Just like to keep it natural but if you're a beginner in makeup and you don't know how to do your eyebrows yet you just want to do your graduation makeup to of course makatepe during graduation day i suggest that you have it shaped to a brow lounge or brow salon and in that way you can just easily follow the shape of your brows next i'll be using the essie and co brow fixing gel just to make sure that my brow will stay in place the whole day long upward strokes 
Next step is to color correct my dark circles and I use this Get Ready With Me Radiance Tint in the shade Medium Peach. Just make sure that I put the tiniest bit. And actually also places that I have dark spots, these are dried up pimples. So I won't use a green corrector for them. Instead, also the peach corrector because they're already dark. Then I'm gonna use a brush, an angled brush to blend that out. So if you're not yet familiar with color correcting, it helps to neutralize your dark circles. Color correcting also helps you to use minimal products. So as I've mentioned a while ago, we don't want a cakey makeup look kind of neutralize the darkness of my under eyes all-time favorite concealer NARS soft matte concealer and I'm in the shade ginger this is also a full coverage concealer so I don't need a lot see that huge difference so much brighter than of course in our dark spots Next, I'm gonna bronze up with the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick and I have the shade Always Sunny. So what I like to do is grab a brush and then from there, just grab the product so that I can control the product. You don't want too much of a bronzer. You don't want less of a bronzer. So this helps rather than just putting it directly on your face. Also making it easier to blend out. Look at that difference. Another rare beauty bronzer stick, but this is in a different shade. This is in a shade Good Energy because it is a cool tone. So I'm going to use this on my nose. Again, grabbing a brush to apply the product. So Always Sunny, which I use on my face to bronze my face, is a warmer tone. But I cannot use this on my nose because it's going to look orangey. And this one is a cool tone. There, that is Good Energy. So that's what I like to use on my nose. So this is how it looks like when I'm all bronzed up. I'm gonna go back with another concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. And what I wanna do is just clean up my contour or like my bronzer a bit with a concealer because a while ago remember with the NARS soft matte concealer we just put it on places that we color corrected but with this concealer I want to highlight so it's definitely a lighter concealer shade so that my makeup will look kind of snatched but still natural places we want to brighten up a bit Again, on my temples for that lifted look. And here also, kind of like cleaning it up, the contour a little bit. And also giving it more dimension because it's a lighter shade. This is a darker shade. For me, this is the most important step. You have to highlight with concealer so that your face will have more dimension and make it again natural so snatch and natural natural <laughs> Don't worry about the edges. We're gonna blend that out. Cause we don't want harsh edges, especially at this part. Everything has to be seamless. Even the nose. There we go. Now to set the base, of course, a translucent loose setting powder from Laura Mercier. Super love the puff that comes with it. And then I'm just gonna put it on the places where I put the highlight. This will also help your makeup to stay longer, prevents creasing. Now, one of the most important parts is your eyeshadow or eye makeup look. So, just grab any eyeshadow palette that has neutral colors. So, I have this Spotlight Blockbuster Nudes. So, I just want to grab the lightest shade first. Next, I'm going to go ahead with the brown shade and then just focus it on the outer V of my eyes. Don't forget to blend. 
Do you see how we created the dimension again with our eyeshadow? So this is just two shades, but it already looks put together. Just want to clean it up a bit. So that's how our eye makeup looks like. Very simple because you want it to look, you know, timeless, classic, especially for graduation. And don't forget to add some color on your under eye. Next is eyeliner. This is from Vice Cosmetics. It's their new lasting liner in the shade Espresso. Again, if you're a beginner in makeup, you can skip this part, but it really makes a huge difference when you have eyeliner. I'm not gonna do a winged eyeliner just to tight line my eyes. So this is how it looks like with eyeliner on top and here on my waterline. For my mascara, I'm gonna use my all-time favorite Lash Paradise. This is from L'Oreal. I don't really like to use false eyelashes, so I want to be comfortable. That's why I'm just gonna go ahead with a mascara and just maybe bring a curler with me so that I can retouch the curls. And also sometimes false eyelashes tend to like not not stick properly so I don't want my graduation pictures to look like that like my eyelashes doesn't look put together so this is the safest way to go but I'm gonna make sure I'm gonna put like three to two coats see even without eyelash extensions our eyelashes are still slaying because of lash paradise moving on with my favorite part the blush I'm gonna go ahead first with the rare beauty liquid blush this is in the shade joy you already know that we only need the tiniest bit of product for this. I'm going to use a damp sponge again to blend that out. Just quickly adds so much life to our face. Compared to a while ago without the blush, everything was just too matte, too brown and neutral. And then I'm gonna set that cream blush with my current obsession. This is the Choo Choo Beauty Heart Blush Duo. This is in the shade Dear Lily. So technically, you get three shades with this blush. So first shade, you get Dear. Next shade is Lily. And when you mix it up, Dear Lily. So that's how it works. I just like to mix it up. This is very pigmented. So you don't wanna use a lot of it. There we go. I'm just basically recreating my graduation makeup look last June. The only way this will last long, Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I swear by this. And then let that set. And while it sets, I'm gonna go ahead with my Charlotte Tilbury powder, which I broke. So this will help me minimize the pores. And of course, again, make my makeup last long. It's gonna make it smoother, seamless. This is why I call it an eraser. Literally, it makes my skin so smooth. The only way I can fake a smooth, poreless skin. This is without, this is with my Charlotte Tilbury powder. Remember this pores? We are gonna erase it. I told you, I told you. To highlight my face, of course, the Dior Glow Face Palette. This is my number one highlighter. So I'm gonna use the shade Gold, which is this one, to highlight the high points of my face. and then white for the inner corners of my eyes. See that difference? Best highlighter palette ever. And then I'm gonna use the shade pink for my eyelids so that it's not too brown. See the difference of the highlighter? completes the makeup look. Now for the lips, Choo Choo Beauty Pout Pencil. So this is their new lip liners. I'm gonna use the shade Warm Melon. 
This one is very creamy, but it's not smudge proof. So that's already cute if you like a matte lip, but if you want something glossy that will stay the whole day, this is also transfer proof. This is the Maybelline Vinyl Ink, and I super love the shade Punchy. So it's a glossy, transfer proof lippy. I know it's so confusing, but it works. It will stay on the whole day. Trust me. So I just wore my toga so that you can see how it looks like with a cap and with a toga. Here's the final graduation makeup look. What do you guys think? This is really the makeup look that I was trying to go for for my graduation. I didn't want anything too heavy or too glam so this is like a soft glam. I can assure you also that this will stay long, tried and tested. So yeah, let me know if you will recreate this look or if you have any questions. See you again in my next video. Bye! Love lots!